ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our judges. And welcome our celebrity guest of the night, Navio, from the hip-hop group Clear Cut. At the end of the show, Navio will choose his favorite performer of the night. And that comedian will win a bonus prize of $100 cash. Every comedian on stage tonight only has 90 seconds to impress you guys, the audience, and our judges. So, are we ready to get the show started? Yeah. Let's give a warm welcome to our first comedian of the night. Well, my name is Tushabe Henry. I'm an education officer. I love audiences. You see, I, I tend to um, say 400 students each week. So I'm really used to it. The only challenge is to make these people happy. I tend to integrate uh, physical comedy with inspirational comedy. I come up with an idea, get inspired, watch to see if it fits in my community, and blow it out. Why not? Hi, guys. Well... We've always had a dispute as to who discovered the source of River Nile. Well, my friends say it is the white man, but I believe it is my grandfather. Because before the white men came here, my grandfather was staying at the source of the Nile. Well, we went on with the argument until when the white man got angry and introduced river blindness. To prevent us from discovering our rivers, we retaliated and put in place the new vision added an Ascari, the daily monitor, to monitor each day and make sure that no more river blindness comes by. Well, to iron out chances of corruption, we also put in place the weekly observer to observe all airports and make sure that all rivers being discovered are discovered by the East African. Well, I am an East African, very proud, so, well, the other day I was having a shower on a hot afternoon. And, uh, oh my God, when I looked in the mirror, I saw something I'd never seen before. Oh my God. I put on my clothes, rushed to the hospital immediately. I wanted to undergo surgery. So I called the doctor. I said, doctor, I want to undergo surgery. And the doctor said, hey, why do you want to undergo surgery when you are very healthy? I said, doctor, I have a question for you. Is it in order for a man to carry all his eggs in one basket? <laughs> well... The doctor laughed at me. <laughs> Henry, um, that was very good. I thought you were very confident. You've come a long way since we first started this thing. I think you got all your punchlines in the right place, and I uh, was impressed. Well done. Well, Henry, I must say the concept was good, very local. Delivery, I think you've gained more confidence, and I wish you good luck. Um, Henry, thank you very much. Um, you've come a long way. You've put in definitely more effort. Um, you helped me there. I did laugh, and thank you. Wish you luck. Did you guys enjoy that? It's pretty funny, huh? Well, we have lots, lots of more coming up. So let's welcome the next comedian tonight. My name is Tari Tasuka Campbell. I'm a freelance journalist. The first audition that we had, I felt like jumping out of my skin. It was the first time I appeared in an audience of three. I could feel the eyes pouring through my skin. I wished a hole could appear on the stage and swallows me but through the training I've learned to own my space I take controls I make the decisions it's my home when I'm up there this is a secret tell nobody about it I have this granny she really dotes on me she loves me to bits Whenever she has a function, she calls me on phone. Muzukuru, come along. There's a wedding. The bad news is yet to come. On reaching there, she taps me on the shoulder. Muzukuru, don't mind. 
you will be next. The other day again, we were invited for another wedding. She tapped me on the head this time as if to pump the thing in my brain. Don't mind, Muzukuru. You will be next. Wait a minute. When we went barring in my village this time, <laughs> I shoved a grain of soil in the grave. Then I shoved another. Then I told her, don't mind, Granny. You'll be next. <laughs> I got another secret for you, cute ladies and gentlemen. These guys who come back from abroad, they don't only come with big dollars, but they come with different lifestyles. They talk with these strange accents. They dream in colored. <laughs> they smile in English. This kind of smile. <laughs> Wait a minute. There's this guy I made on uh, Kampala. Well done, Titus. Um, from this morning, there's been a massive improvement. Fantastic. You got to your subjects, and you really connected with the audience. Well done. Titus? Well, I remember the Titus we had here who was actually shaking the first day, and I'm really impressed. You got your punchlines well, and you made me laugh. Good luck, man. Titus, I liked your concept, I liked your delivery, and you were coherent, you were actually funny. Thank you. Wish you luck. <laughs>